where am I supposed to put all these books? Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showcasing all the books I've either received or bought in 2022 and there are surprisingly many. So I thought I would make this video a bit different than usual. Firstly, I'll stack all the books I've either received or bought on this chair. And the exciting news is that you will have the chance to win a book from your wishlist at the end of this video. So stick around to the end to see how you can win. Now, let's start with some digital purchases. Firstly, I bought two audiobooks. And before you ask, yes, I do consider listening to audiobooks as reading. So Audible had a sale where you could buy two books for one, so I snatched up The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynne and The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. Now you might be wondering why I'm buying the audio version of The Shadow of the Gods since I already have a physical copy on my shelf right here. Well, the sequel in the series, The Hunger of the Gods, is coming out in a couple of months, and I thought it would be great to reread The Shadow of the Gods since I forgot to some details. I very rarely read real books, but I would love to have all the details fresh in my mind before picking up The Hunger of the Gods. I am really, really hoping to get an arc of The Hunger of the Gods so I can have a review ready for you guys on release day. However, only time will tell if I'll actually get an arc, but fingers crossed. Then I also got The Mask of Mirrors, a book I haven't heard that much about, except that people who have read it seem to love it. This book is also released by Orbit, who generally publish really great fantasy books, so this is definitely one I'm really interested in. I also got a couple of ebooks. The first one I bought was The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. So this series was put on my radar after The Broken Binding made some incredibly beautiful editions of the first three books in the series. I'll try to find some pictures so you can see just how beautiful these editions are. And I even got access to the pre-sale, but decided not to order these books since I hadn't really heard that much about them but that's something I really regret now. This series sounds like it should be right up my alley with a lot of political maneuvering and great world building. And I've also heard great things about the series from book reviewers such as Bookborn and Read by Kyle, which has really made me interested in reading this series. The Grace of Kings was on sale for one pound on the Kindle store, so I couldn't really resist buying it. It's definitely a series I would love to start this year, but my TBR constantly changes, so I make no promises. I also got two books that were free on the Kindle store. The first one is Winter's Fury, and the second one is The Hellborn King. I don't know much about these, but they were free, so why not? All right, let's get into the physical books I've either received or bought. 2022 has already been a fantastic year for me regarding physical books. I received several ARCs and review copies, and also some really nice special editions. So let's start by talking about some books that I bought with my own money. Firstly, I finally received one of my most anticipated books of the year, and that is my signed and numbered edition of Of Darkness and Light by Ryan Cahill. If you've been following indie book releases, then you will have heard about the Bound and the Broken series by Ryan Cahill. The first book in the series recently crossed over a thousand reviews on Amazon, which is crazy for an indie fantasy book. So why am I so excited about this book? Well, my name is actually on the book blurb. How cool is that? Having my name on book blurbs is something that I'm definitely not used to, so having Ryan include a quote from my review is a huge honor. Also, Kyle's hardbacks are a work of art. This edition has a story so far section, four illustrations, art on the naked hardback, a glossary, a beautiful map, and it's also signed and numbered. Kyle also included two art cards in my order, which are done by his brother and how stunning are these. If you're interested in hearing my full thoughts on the books in this series, then you can either read my reviews on my blog or Goodreads. That is the first book added to the tower. Then we also have four books that I bought in charity shops in January. I've talked about these books in my charity shop video, so I won't say much about these, except that the books I bought were Insomnia by Stephen King and also Rose Mather, also by Stephen King. And then I bought The Gathering Storm and Towers of Midnight by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. If you want to hear more about these books, then make sure to watch that charity shop video. I'll link it in the description below. So let's add these four books to the tower. I also received another special edition, which is none other than Malice by John Gwynn, the first book in the Faithful in the Fallen series. Now, a bit of a funny story about this edition. So the Broken Binding are currently reprinting all four books in the series with sprayed edges, and they're also signed and numbered. And I'm a huge fan of this series, so I was very happy when I was able to pre-order the set. However, in December I decided to contact the Broken Binding to cancel my order since it was Christmas and I thought it would be better to have the money or the books. The Broken Binding said that they would cancel my order and refund my money, which was great. And I didn't really think much about this again except when this book arrived at my door. Apparently the Broken Binding had forgotten about my cancellation and I never even got my refund. So I was then put in a sticky situation because after having seen how beautiful this edition is, and it's also numbered number 15 which is a very low number, 
I was very tempted to just keep it. So what I have decided is to keep this book for now. If my mind changes, then I can always resell the whole set when it arrives and I'll probably get my money back. I also kind of want to reread this whole series now that I have this beautiful edition. What do you think? Am I making a mistake keeping this edition? Does one more book add to the tower? And it's already getting a bit unstable. Lastly, I bought three books in the Broken Binding January sale. And I know I keep mentioning the Broken Binding, but it's really my favorite bookshop. I mean, they specialize in signed fantasy and science fiction books. What more can you ask for? Also, shameless promo time. If you ever place an order with the Broken Binding, then you can get 5% off at the checkout by using the code Library for Viking 7 I do get a small commission whenever you use this code, so that also helps support my channel. The first book I bought was Rebels Creed by Booktuber and fantasy influencer Daniel Green. So this edition has a signed book plate in it, which is really cool. When Bridge of Peace came out, I instantly pre-ordered a signed edition from the Broken Binding, so I'm really happy now to have a matching set. I read Bridge of Peace last year and I gave it 4 stars and I thought it wasn't too bad. Also, I didn't have very high expectations when I picked it up, hence why I was pleasantly surprised by it. However, I barely even thought about Bridge of Peace since finishing it, so obviously it didn't leave a huge impression on me. Also, I have almost not heard anyone talk about Rebels Creed, and what I've heard is mostly bad. I don't know when I'll get to this book, but it was on sale, and I'm a fan of Daniel Green's channel, so I'm really happy to have a copy of Rebels Creed. I also bought a copy of Stormtide and Wish Sign by Den Patrick, and both of these also have signed book plates in them. I don't know anything about these books except that they were on sale for like four pounds or something crazy and they have a signed book plate in them so I thought why not. I also really like the covers and these covers even have a quote from Robin Hobb on the cover which is pretty cool. Has anyone read these books? I would love to hear your thoughts. That is three more books added to the tower. I have also received several ARCs and review copies in 2022 which is really exciting. Firstly I received an ARC of The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. This book is apparently a TikTok sensation and it has received thousands of positive reviews. And that hype generated by TikTok actually led to this book being picked up by Tor Books. So this book is now getting traditionally published in March by Tor. And I was fortunate enough to receive an ARC. I know there was a lot of people trying to get an ARC of this book, so I'm very thankful to Tor Books that they actually sent me a copy of this one. I don't know much about this book except that it sounds like a Dark Academia slash Hunger Game-esque book. I'm really intrigued to see what the hype is about, so I'll be reading this one very soon. Orbit Books also contacted me and asked if I was interested in reading and reviewing Daniel Abraham's upcoming book, Age of Ash. So Abraham's books have been on my TBR for a while now, so I was very excited when Orbit reached out to me. I have all of Abraham's books on my TBR, but I haven't gotten around to reading any of them, so this finally gave me an excuse to read one of his books. Age of Ash is the first book in a new trilogy, and I've actually already read this one, but I haven't written my reviews, so I won't say much about it, except that it's a really intriguing read. I also received an arc of Under the Fortune Stars by Ren Hutchkins. I don't know much about this book except that it's a sci-fi that's being published by Rebellion. I love this cover. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm planning on getting to this one sometimes in March or April since this is being published in May. I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. Then I also got a Christmas present from Angry Robots which was a very nice gesture. They sent me a book as a gift since I reviewed some of their books in 2021. I don't know anything about this book except that this cover is gorgeous. Thank you so much Angry Robots. That is four more books added to this book tower. This is getting out of control. Alright, I only have four more books to cover. I also received another arc from Golans. It's an arc of The Color Bound by Rebecca Sahapi. If I'm not mistaken, then this is a debut novel by Sahapi. I generally tend to enjoy books that Golans publish. I mean, they publish books by Sanderson and Abercrombie, so they're definitely one of the biggest fantasy publishers out there. I am really excited to read this one. Just look how gorgeous this cover is. I also received three indie books. Last year I tried to read and review one indie book per month, which led me to discovering some amazing books, so I'll try to do that again in 2022. The first one I received was a signed paperback of The Blood of the Spear by Mark Timoney, and he also sent me some really cool stickers. So this book was an SPFBO semi-finalist, which was one of the main reasons why I was interested in picking this one up. I've also read this one, but I still need to write my review, so I won't say much about it just yet. I also got a hardback copy of Cold from the North by D.V. Ross. I am really impressed by the quality of this book. It even has artwork on the naked hardback, which is a really nice touch. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Indie hardbacks tend to be much prettier than traditionally published hardbacks. I'm a fan of Norse inspired fantasy books, so I would love to read this one sometimes this year. And then I also received a signed copy of A Sea of Cinders by Adam R. Bishop. It's book one in the Voice of Quarter series, and Adam even sent me a handwritten letter, which is a really nice gesture. I actually told Adam that I wouldn't be able to read and review this book when he contacted me, since my TBR is out of control. 
but he wanted to send it anyway. Hopefully I'll get to it, but I can't make any promises. A special thanks to Mark, Ross and Adam for sending me these books. I really appreciate it. And those are the last books added to the tower. I now have a book tower with a total of 17 books, I think. And I did mention a giveaway, didn't I? If you're able to guess the height of this tower in centimeters, then I will buy you a book from your wish list as long as Book Depository ships to your location. If more than one person guesses the correct height in centimeters, then the person that guessed it correctly first will win. And you can only enter once. So leave a comment down below how high you think this tower is in centimeters and make sure to subscribe. Good luck. So what do you think about the books I received? Have you read any of these? Are any of these books on your TBR? Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. <laughs>